Hi everybody, it's Liv from Tuning to Liv's FM. Hello. Um, I'm basically doing a quick little video just to show you that I know we've got perfumes, I know we've got makeup and all that jazz and my hair looks great, still great after that spray yesterday. But we have cleaning products and a lot of people will go, how do I know if I want to buy that or pay that for that product if I don't know if it cleans? Let me tell you, this stuff cleans. It's the fireplace and oven cleaner. Now, personally, I don't have a fireplace, but I've seen good results from people that have. For my oven, it is amazing, okay? So what I'm going to do is show you my routine on how I'm doing it, okay? Now, usually, I just put it in like a little bowl with a little cloth and spread it down a bit. But, excuse that, you can tell I made a cheese sandwich. Um, basically, I'm going to pour it into a spray bottle, like so. And then we're going to clean the oven. So, I'm going to pour this in here, just for future. I figured if I showed you guys this job, you'll get what I mean. Now, when you order this from me you can actually get a spray cap with it um it's just when i ordered it for myself i didn't even think to get a spray cap because i knew i had a few of these bottles lying around so i'm going to put this lid on and basically all i'm going to do is just spray it all over the entire oven okay so i'm going to just stop this for a minute flip my camera around and i'll be back in a minute Alright, so sorry if you can hear my washing machine, I did say it was housework day, it's Sunday. So I'm basically just going to spray all over the oven. Be generous with it, yeah? I'm always generous with it. Because, although a little bit does go a long way, but we have a very greasy oven at the minute, so I'm making sure I get it off. It can even get some of the grease catcher trays at the bottom, it can get all that off. I'm spraying all the walls, yeah, I'm spraying all the doors, I'm spraying the back, near the side, all down this side, don't forget underneath your grease catching tray, and the top, without getting your grill, because I've got a little like panel at the top, okay, so, so that is all sprayed, yeah? I've absolutely covered it. Okay, just noticed a little bit there that I haven't, so I'm just gonna... Okay, that is absolutely covered in oven cleaner, okay? Now, the instructions are on the bottle. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing. That now gets left for 10 minutes, all right? So I'm gonna stop the video here, and I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes, and we'll see how well it cleans off. See you in 10. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. As you can see, it runs very clear. After 10 minutes, it's all soaked in. Now, a lot of people would just get a cloth and just start wiping it off and it'll see it all come off. I like a bit more of an in-depth clean, so I've got my trusty kitchen sponge and a bowl of lukewarm water just because I'm really weak and it just helps it come off that little bit easier. So you guys saw it at the start. It's all brown. It's all horrible. As I start to wipe and scrub not even that hard guys yeah and look at that already so it just makes light work of all those dirty stains and all those spillages and where the food spits back a bit and just gets it all off and it is just it's miracle working. Like, can you see this right now? I hope you can see it well, because I am in heaven right now. So, sorry if I go a bit quiet. I'm getting my elbow grease out. Although, I'm not really using that much elbow grease, to be honest. It's flying off, okay? Um, but as you can see, it just absolutely flies off. So when I first started that video, this was all brown, you couldn't make out my floor. And now, you can see my hand straight underneath. I am just using a cloth now to go over the top and just absorb some of that moisture that the sponge has just put on there. And it just helps just to get rid of the more tougher stains. And what I tend to find is on the more tougher bits where it could have done my kind of 20 minutes soaking, for example, I'll spray straight onto the glass and scrub it with my cloth straight away just to get that last few 
few bits off. But as you can see, my oven is sparkling, mate. So side bits are dead easy though, not gonna lie. It's this bit here that's a bit more tough. Um, but it does fly off. Very satisfying, guys, gotta say. For someone that absolutely hates cleaning, like the bane of my life. Because I think, oh, it's, it won't come off. I spend the whole day going, oh, it won't come off. And then I found this stuff when I started FN. And now, cleaning the oven, I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so people will probably just leave it now, but I give it a good scrub with my sponge. Just so I know that I've got as much off as I possibly can. But it's been like, what, three minutes? And look how much cleaner my oven is already. And for ten minutes I wasn't bloody doing anything. I was just waiting for my timer. Scrolling on Facebook. Right, so... I figured I'd show you guys the door because that's the most like prominent place where you see a dirty oven is on the door. So I figured I'd show you the door. And then get, oh this water guys is gross. So if I just get my cloth. Look at that. I'm going to do the inside off camera, but look at that, guys. You can see straight through it. No bother. Perfectly clean oven. And just to show you how well that did work, look at my water. And that's just off the door, all right? So this is going to be a very good oven clean. Um, if you want any from me, it is only £9.50 a bottle. I am doing a secret sale next week that includes some cleaning products. So if you want it a bit discounted for your first go, I'd get in my secret sale. Um, drop me a message and I will get you in there. The more the merrier and let's have a go. Let's try it. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.